This question is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your WordPress questions or tasks on demand. WordPress website. Then make sure you have a Google Analytics account set up. So here's Google Analytics. And when I sign in to Google Analytics, takes a while. You'll notice that um, in admin on the bottom left, I already have one account added. And so this is my name or the account name. And the property is going to be the website name. And here I've left it blank. So Google Optimize requires you to have a Google Analytics account. So now after we have the website and Google Analytics, we can go to optimize.google.com. So this is Google Analytics, and right now there are no containers created for this account. So let's create a container, or let's create an account. So over here, for the account name, I will put the name of the website. And then acknowledge the conditions. And click next. Oh, over here the container requires a site name. So this is what I'll do. For the account name, I'll use my own account. I mean, my, I will use my own name for the account name. And for the container, I'll use the website name. Next, create. So now you'll notice that in Google Optimize, I have created the account Jonathan Lee as well as the website. On the right hand side for container setup, you'll notice it's 25% complete. So we are, have a green check mark here for created account and container. Now we need to create an experience, link to Google Analytics, and start an experience. So for this one, I'm going to skip step two and do step three, and then I'll come back to step two and then to step four. So one, three, two, four. That's how I will do it. So over here, it says link to Google Analytics. So I'll click link property and here you can choose the uh, analytics property to link to. I'm linking to the li-jonathan.com which which matches the which matches this account right here in Google Analytics. It starts with 146. This one starts with the 146. And for all site data, I'll leave it checked. Then I click link So now it says, add Google Optimize snippet to your site. You will need to add a short code snippet to your site before you can use Optimize. So instead of clicking skip for now, click get snippet. So this is the code that Google Optimize wants you to paste inside of your WordPress website. So I'm gonna copy this link. So I've copied it and then I head over to my website and navigate to dashboard. Then I'm gonna go into uh, settings, insert headers and footers. Now what's insert headers and footers? It's a plugin. So over here, insert headers and footers. Make sure up here in the um, add new, you have the insert headers and footers plugin installed, this one. Make sure you click install now and activate. And after you're done activating that plugin, back in plugins, you should see the insert headers and footers. So I'm gonna use this plugin. Okay, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna head over to settings, navigate to insert headers and footers. And this is my scripts header. So you're gonna take the Google Analytics code, or no, the Google Optimize code that I copied from here, this bit, and go into the scripts header and paste it right here. So you'll notice that okay, this bit of code, it was already here before, so you can ignore that, okay? You may, you may or may not have this, okay? But this is the Google Analytics code that I just copied and pasted. After this, you can scroll down and click save. 
And after saving, it says setting saved. And back over here, um, you can click done because you have already copied this code into WordPress. So click done. So now you have steps one and step three done. So now what you want to do is you want to create an experience. So you can create an experience from here. Actually, you can't. So you, you can create an experience from here. So create your first experience. This is where you create experience and personalizations for a website. So let's click, let's go. What's the experience called? Let's call this first test. What website we want to apply it to? I'll do a, the li-jonathan.com. What type of experience? You can pick multivariate, redirect, A-B test. I'll leave it as A-B test. Then click create. So this is the first test. So here inside of the inside of the test, the first test, it's still a draft. And it says some setup steps are still required um, before you can click the start button. So first off, let's add a variant. Variant one. So that so this is an A-B test, right? 50% um, 50 chance when the user arrives at the at your website, this website, there's a 50% chance they will land on the original website and there's a 50% chance they'll land on the first variant, variant one. So an A-B test is useful so you can test out does the A version of the, your website look better or does B version of your website look better? So you can create different versions of a website and test out which one gets the most traffic and most like most traffic, most clicks, which one performs the best. And then after, so that's an A-B test. Okay. So anyway, but enough about A-B tests. So how do you set up, uh, set up the steps so that it can turn from a draft to a ready to click publish, right? So what do you do? Well, you want to go down to here and it says optimize installation. So right now it says not verified before starting your experience, verify that Google optimize is correctly installed. So you want to run diagnostics and it says get optimized extension for Chrome. So I'm using Chrome browser right now. It says Chrome and I don't have the ins uh, optimized uh, extension installed. So I'm going to click install extension over here. It says Google optimize and you click add to Chrome. It'll allow, um, it's going to be able to read your website and access, um, page debug, debugger backend, all this stuff. Just click add extension. So after that, now you can click close and you'll notice that you have this, um, this logo over here and that means you've installed the extension. So you can click uh, install extension, but you've already done that. So I'm going to click cancel and we still need to click run diagnostics because it's still not verified, right? So click run diagnostics. And so this is how your website is looks and it says optimize is correctly installed. No major issues detected. It says, um, suggests that the anti flicker snippet to be installed. So what's the anti flicker snippet? Well, what happens is when someone lands on your lands on the variant one or any of your variants of your website, uh, the page is going to flicker. So what's going to happen is first your original website is going to display to your user. And then suddenly it's going to flick to the new, uh, the new variant. So for like half a second, a split second, your user is going to see the original website before it flickers onto the, uh, the variant, like the changed, um, test version of your website. And then your user will see that flicker. So it could look bad. So to get rid of the flicker and to load the variant first so that the user never sees the original website flicker. You want the you want to install the anti flicker snippet. So what you do is you can click on the snippet over here, this link to the anti flicker snippet, and here is a Google optimized resource hub article about it. So what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down here, and you want to copy this bit of code right here, the anti flicker snippet, and you want to paste it into WordPress. Okay, so what you want to do is you copy the code and this part of the code needs to be replaced later. Um, replaced with the 
um, container ID. So anyway, I'm going to copy this bit of code, head back over to WordPress, scroll down, make sure this code happens above Google Analytics. So I'm going to open up some space up here. So here's some empty space, and I'm going to paste the anti flicker snippet. So remember, this bit of code down here, this Google Analytics code down here, is what we copied for the first time, and this is what we added on the second time right now. The anti flicker snippet. Now it's incomplete. This over here it says opt container ID. You need to replace that with the container ID right here. So you copy this bit of code, um, which corresponds to Google Optimize, and you can paste it over here. So now it's complete, and you can scroll down and click Save. Yay, it's good. So now what you want to do is you want to head back to Google Optimize right here. And so you want to click back to details. So now that the anti flickering code is installed, you can go back into the Google Optimize right here. And you should click on Run Diagnostics to check if it still suggests for you to install the anti flickering code. So when you click on it, after the blue circle loads, you'll notice it says Optimize is, uh, is correctly installed. No major issues were detected. And because over here it no longer suggests that you install the anti-flickering code, that means you've installed it correctly. So go back to details. So it looks pretty good. Uh, what else needs to be done? So you see these green circles green check marks right here, right? Add targeting rules. Well, that's checked. Okay, good. Green circle, green circle, no green circle. Okay. That means if we add one more green circle, green check mark over here, then the start button will be available to be clicked. Okay. So set up objectives. Let's click on that. And it scrolls down to over here where it says objectives. So let's set up an objective. Okay. So let's choose from the list. Um, choose from list or you can create a custom objective and I will just click on bounces You can click on whatever Whatever your objective is and now you'll see that all the green check marks are are available and you can now click start now in real life when you do the variant you want to make sure the original and variants are different so right now they're actually exactly the same so if you want to change the variant one a little bit you can go edit here and for me, I'm going to make a, a simple change to the website. So there's different options. You can go here to edit. You can click on a certain element, edit element, and you can edit the HTML. So instead of home, you can change it to like homey or something. So then um, the original is going to show home. The variant one is going to show homey. You can do something like that, or you can like edit the element and uh, remove it and click save. So over here, it's popping up an error. It says the editor page URL doesn't match the actual URL. The, so the editor page one says um, just li Jonathan with that. With, it's just HTTP. The actual one has a HTTPS. So I'll just update the URLs. Then click done. So now with all the green circles available, we can finally reach the final step, which is to click start. So we can click start. And it says, um, your, it says your optimization install isn't verified. This may um, impact your results. So I'm going to click cancel on that. So I be believe somewhere over here, there should be an option to change the hmm okay anyway so over here by the way there's uh i forgot to click on this one uh this this alarm clock or clock icon click on it you can set the date of where you schedule this to happen so for me i can set the start date um for this um, August 20, and I can set the end date to be September 3rd. The reason why I select September 3rd is that um, 
Google Optimize suggests you at least give two weeks for a single experiment. So I'll just do like um, 9 a.m. And this is 9 a.m. You can choose whatever time you want. Done. So it says click start to confirm your schedule. The schedule has been added, but it will not be applied until you click start. So you, you can click got it. And now you can click the start button. Google Optimize um, installation isn't verified. Um, this may impact your results. I'm not sure why it's saying that. Oh, over here it says it's not. I thought we verified it earlier. So I'm just going to click Run Diagnostics one more time. And it says back to details. It says it's good. I think the reason why it prompts again for the, it prompted us again for the Optimize installation is because earlier when we when we changed from HTTP to HTTPS, it may have reset. So that's why make sure this is also a green check mark. And now you're actually ready to click start. So click start and there's no errors, no nothing. Receive email notifications about this. Sure, you can I can receive email notification. You can turn this off if you don't like email notification. So click start. And now uh, Google Optimize is successfully scheduled. All right, so that's good. Yay, that's great. Uh, one more, um, so one more thing to note is that in the Chrome Web Store, uh, if you want to double check to make sure everything is right for the, to make sure you have the correct tags installed, you can search for Google Tag Assistant. This one. By Google, click Add to Chrome. It can read your websites. Click Add Extensions, and Google Tag Assistant has now been added. So on your web page, um, you can allow this stuff to be checked. Click Done, and you can click Record View Recordings. So here it's just information about Google Tag Assistant. Uh, you can you can add this page to liked, and then you can view recordings. It says no tags found. Hmm, that's kind of strange. Click record. Cancel. That's strange. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, add here, allow, back to here. Yeah, so here, now it starts to record some tags. So you can see over here, there has the as a global site tag, which it was there already before we started this tutorial. And earlier we added the Google Analytics tag as well as the Google Optimize. So these two tags were added in this video. And if you don't want Google Tag Assistant to record um, the, the tag analysis, you can click Stop Recording. And, it, and then you can resume recording if you want. It's a little bit confusing how this thing works. But yeah, you can just basically look at these this tag assistant to see if you've installed the tags correctly. But anyway, this is a little off topic. The most important thing is that you set up the optimize campaign and then make sure you have it scheduled. So that is how you use Google Optimize in WordPress.